Revelation 2115. From the 15th of October 1941. Working of the Light Bearers. Unlimited Ascension. To enter the kingdom of light requires a degree of maturity which allows the soul to endure the abundance of light, that is, the divine emanation of love floods the soul and makes it inconceivably happy. But an immature soul would be consumed by the fire of love since it has not yet become the same strength. Only when the soul has likewise shaped itself into love will it endure the flow of light of divine love and now this strength impels it to everlasting activity. However, the way in which the activity of a soul which has become a being of light proceeds cannot be made comprehensible to people on earth. It is an incessant distribution and reception of strength, it is a process which can only be described as a constant transfer and forwarding of the strength of love from God. In an indescribably harmonious environment these beings of light arise for each other, uniting in love where increased strength output is required, looking after the powerless beings in untiring love, leading them to the light and always only guiding beings from darkness upwards. There is no more blissful process than the transformation of dark beings into bearers of light. It is a process which lasts for an infinitely long time but which does not let the being of light tire, for the goal is inconceivably happy and the redeemed beings unite with their spiritual guides and light givers again when they have likewise become bearers of light. And thus the first giving being becomes increasingly more enlightened and powerful and can unite with higher beings again through its degree of light and this is synonymous with ever more intimate union with God. There are no limits to ascent in eternity. The being will be able to reach ever greater abundance of light without ever reaching the final goal. The measure of the emanation of love from God will never be limited, the being will always be able to receive more and strive for this more. There is no stopping, there is no being satiated that eliminates a desire for more it will receive the giving being and give away of its abundance of love. It will constantly desire and receive again. However, the giving of light never reduces the giving being's degree of light, for since the being continuously receives, its abundance of light becomes ever stronger, and thus the being comes ever closer to God. It is united with God through receiving his emanation of love and yet constantly strives towards God it is desire and fulfillment the everlasting state of happiness of the beings which have entered the kingdom of light, which are blissful themselves and want to lead to beatitude. Amen.